Hello sweet viewers! Today I'm going to show you how to make fried chicken feet. So let's get started. First you'll need 2-3 to three lemongrass placed in a pot of water. Then you'll need to add 1-2 to two pieces of galanga root. And this is mainly for aroma. You'll want to put a lid on it and bring it to a boil. After it's been boiling, you'll want to add your clean chicken feet to the water. And you're going to let the chicken feet boil and cook for at least 10 to 15 minutes. I added some salt to give the chicken feet some taste. Then you'll want to cover it and cook it for 10 to 15 minutes. After it's done cooking, you want to remove the chicken feet from the pot. I personally do not like to pour hot boiling water down my sink, so I like to scoop up the chicken and then rinse the chicken under cold water. And once the water has um, cool in the pot, then I'll pour it in the, down the sink. Next, you'll want to cut off the toenails. I do this after the chicken feet is cooked because it's easier. Um, when it's raw, it's very tough to cut off the toenails. So this is actually just easier. This is the batter I like to use. You can use any fried chicken batter, tempura batter, it is completely up to you. Um, you want to add some to a bowl. I'm just eyeballing here. Then you want to add cold water to the tempura batter mix. And you want to make sure that it is not too thick or too thin. But just a smooth consistency. And once you're done mixing, you'll want to pour the mixture onto the chicken feet and evenly coat the chicken feet. plastic gloves to help me stir and keep my hands clean. Then once it's evenly coated, you'll want to deep fry at a medium high heat on the stove or at 300 degrees Fahrenheit um, if you're using a deep fryer. Then you just want to make sure it's cooked until golden brown or crispy. Next, you'll want to sprinkle 1-2 to two tablespoons of La seasoning. And mine is a mixture of these three brands, just um, a one package each. And then I just sprinkle it over the chicken feet and toss it in the air a couple times. Sprinkle a little more. And 
and there you have it. Please remember to subscribe to my channel for more recipes. And if you try this recipe or you like it, please thumbs up 